What's going on guys, Challenger, and we are back today, and specifically we're going to be talking about Battlefield 6, or uh, we could say the next Battlefield title. Now, since my last video, we talked about, you know, when to expect, you know, certain things that are rumored to be a part of it, and in between from this video, uh, things like that, we've gotten some reports and some information from the earnings call we'll go over, but there's a lot of crazy stuff, and honestly, um, I want to mention, take this with a grain of salt, because some of this sounds too good to be true. But with the fact that we are focusing now on next generation consoles and on PC and with just the technology evolving over the years, this is entirely possible for DICE to pull off and have in a Battlefield game. So everything you're hearing here, I fully believe is entirely possible, is in the realm of possibility. Now, whether or not it's actually the case, we have to wait and see. But the information we're going to be going on, guys, is going to be insane. All rumors, of course, nothing official, but in regards to official information, we do know we're going to be expecting a reveal in the springtime of 2021. My personal opinion, I do expect something in uh, April and then maybe something in, you know, summer where E3 is supposed to be happening. They are doing some form of E3 this year. And, you know, I really hope it does a better job presenting itself compared to what Battlefield 5 did. In my opinion, they should do something like Battlefield 3 and 4. You know, the first iteration of what we see from Battlefield should be some single player component. Show off the graphical fidelity, show off some awesome destruction, the scale, the setting, things like that. And then the, you know, summer reveal should be multi, uh, multiplayer focus, a multiplayer gameplay presentation, five, six minutes, stuff like that. Just get us into seeing what the game is rather than that whole cinematic crazy things. But we have to wait and see if EA even follows through with that. They might not, honestly. But uh, in regards to information things like that we've gone over a release date or release window for you know for real well ea has pretty much been hard locked on saying that holiday 2021 is definitely the you know expectation of when this game will be dropping now whether or not that gets delayed we have to wait and see but they've been pretty hard on saying that the 2021 window is locked and uh whether this means this comes out in october november december we have to wait and see we do expect a new Call of Duty in November, which is supposedly going to be uh, developed by Sledgehammer Games. So I don't think EA, with that regard of them worrying about Sledgehammer Games, is anything too much to worry about. Sledgehammer hasn't really done a great job with Call of Duty. If it was Infinity Ward, maybe they would adjust the release window, but it's not Infinity Ward from what we know. But we have to wait and see. None of that is confirmed as well. But I think one of the biggest informations and rumors we've gotten regards to leaks is the setting. Now, we do know it's supposed to be modern setting. This is something desirable. But apparently this game will cover World War 3. Now, there is two narrative directions that can go with this. Now, if we recall from Battlefield 4's campaign, China, Russia, and, you know, NATO forces have pretty much just gone on full-fledged war with each other. It's, if you play the campaign, you kind of know, know what happened. But especially in multiplayer, it was really highlighted. There was three factions. There was the Chinese faction. There was the Russian faction. And then there was the U.S. faction. So they could continue this and... You know, this does bring interesting parts of locations we could see in the world. Maybe there's a designated military zone that we just fight along in. Or maybe it, the battle does scale all across the world. But another thing that really, I, I think this is coming from my side. I haven't seen nobody talked about this. If we recall what Bad Company 2 was, it was World War 3. Russia was taking over the world and things like that. And, the you know, at the end of Bad Company 2, Russia was on the front doorsteps of United States. So, if this is focusing on World War 3, there is a possibility that we are seeing Bad Company 3 come into, you know, fruition and finally get the finale of that story or maybe another part of that story. But I honestly love that game itself. I love the characters from that game. I love Bad Company 2. I love the stories. I love Bad Company 1 as well. It was just a great Battlefield experience. So, this setting of a World War 3 setting, while it's not confirmed... Definitely does give me high hopes that we could be seeing Bad Company 3, but as of right now, you know, the, the world the news cycle is calling this Battlefield 6. Also, it's important to mention, DICE might skip, you know, single player campaign altogether, so we might not see any of that. So it's important to mention that uh, Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1 didn't really have a single player element compared to Battlefield 3 and 4. But uh, yeah, now one thing we talked about is kind of a recap is Battlefield 3's inspirations and an unprecedented scale. So player counts can be double we mentioned in the last video and you know battlefield 3 is being heavily inspired we talked about that last video as well but i think one of the most important things is that this is a very infantry focus it seems to be inspired battlefield 3 while it did have vehicles it did have large scale maps it was very infantry focused and i think it had an, the last great version of rush so if you guys are hoping for something infantry focus battlefield 3's inspiration to this game should definitely be 
you know, take, you know, highlight and, and be enjoyed. Now, this article was posted two weeks ago. It's linked down below everything, recapping all the information we know for the most part. This is from Game Rant, and this was published two days ago. So, now the next article we were talking about is from games radar this was reported three days ago and this is some seriously crazy shit i think this is one of the most exciting parts i've heard in regards to battlefield 6 and that is battlefield 6 will have a significantly advanced level destruction according to a leaker now again this is leaked this is rumors this is nothing official this can all be bogus but apparently, if we look closely on this quote here, rather than the map having a few destructible points, Henderson claims that every single building can be destroyed in some capacity. Now, it's important to mention down below that they obviously state that, you know, if it does have objective, that this will not be effective. But if every single building, every single, you know, landmark, cover, whatever can be destroyed in some capacity, oh my god, that will be beautiful. I know people do have issues in terms of like, gameplay you know ruins the flow people just blow up buildings maps and then you're just you know vast wasteland yes that is a case but if they do it a certain way they could provide cover and replacements i do think it's possible i do think it's an of possibility that dice could pull off they're really good at destruction i i uh very surprised that they've not been you know going full fledged with it recently but it seems like they're going back to it now they also discussed that you know the squad system in the multiplayer will be very similar to previous games with the savage classes returning however dice is reportedly testing a new system called a platoon which will see multiple squads able to coordinate under the same banner this sounds pretty interesting and also it's this is great news in regards to just all consoles people playing together multiplayer will also take advantage of a cross play between playstation 5 xbox series x and pc as well as last gen consoles now in regards to last gen consoles i don't think they'll be probably open to play every mode if depending on how you know massive the game is and what modes have how many player counts but uh this is pretty badass now he also says or henderson also says that he heard information regarding a free to play mode attached to battlefield 6 with a battle pass system now this sounds like battle royale dice could be trying to re you know tackle the new the battle royale they had with firestorm now i didn't think it was bad i just didn't think it was good i do think they had a lot of work to do and things like that to improve this and make it you know better but i do think battlefield has the opportunity to make a solid battle royale experience you know judging from the fact that battlefield is already the forefather the godfather of the battle royale experience you know large-scale modes large-scale maps you know things like that it just they've kind of always been there it's just whether or not they actually focus on it is one thing now they could not be entirely this free-to-play mode could be a different mode attached to you know battlefield itself but we have to wait and see in that regards we don't know much official information but regards to all the leaks there that's pretty much it that's all we got to talk about and you know simply the information we are getting reportedly leaked is insane it's also important to mention that um i didn't really cover this in the articles but i've been seeing it on twitter but dice la is you know reportedly make taking full-fledged you know development of this game in terms of like you know building the foundations being the lead which is pretty intriguing because dice is actually i think in stockholm or something sweden like the original dice dice la uh was re i think was used to be visceral and they got renamed to dice la and they've been a support you know studio for you know dice when it comes to their support for battlefield titles post-launch but they've done great stuff they made battlefield 4 a phenomenal game it was already good even though had launch issues but if that's the case that means there's a good chance they've been working on this for a long long time so it makes a lot of these leaks rumors reports does seem plausible because if dice la has been you know the forefront of developing this then that means that they were certainly and i mean certainly developing this since battlefield 4 and that game came out a whole console generation ago so again some exciting news again take it all the grain of salt it could be false but if you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and are excited to see whatever the hell battlefield 6 is definitely drop this video a like and subscribe for more battlefield information news that comes along the way it's gonna be pretty sparse because we don't have much going on but once things heat up i'm really excited for this game big battlefield fan and it's gonna be kind of depressing not being able to do battlefield videos because it's kind of like battlefield 5 is just kind of dead so yeah it is what it is with that being said if you guys enjoyed again like if you guys want more videos like this whether it's you know battlefield news call to the war zone destiny 2 also subscribe but with that being said hope you guys have a good one shannon here and i'm out